This paper looks at whether the practice of banks selling loans on to other investors deserved a bad reputation in gain during the financial crisis. Before the crisis, securitization was seen as a great way of distributing risk, getting funding from a range of sources and expanding lending. But this reputation was damaged with the fallout from the securitization of subprime mortgage loan in the US. Our article studies the securitization of loans to small business in Italy, which are often made by smaller banks with a close relationship to their clients. In particular, it looks at whether investors suffer from not having as much information about the loan as the original lender. We find that the securitization of loans to small and medium firms does not weaken credit standards. Banks may have fewer incentives to screen borrowers or monitor the progress of loans if they sell these loans on to other, other investors, but this is offset by other effects. We find that a strong relationship between the firm and the bank provides a credible enough commitment for the bank to continue monitoring loans after they have been sold on to other investors. All in all, we find that securitized loans are of significantly better quality than non-securitized ones. Our paper is the first one to assess the market for securitization of loans to small and medium firms in a comprehensive way, covering the story of the loan from start to finish. The analysis is based on very detailed loan level data on the performance of both securitized and non-securitized loans to small firms and their default rates. The securitization market for loans to small and medium enterprise has not yet recovered from the financial crisis and it is very important in countries like Italy with a large number of small firms. The fact that we find that securitization is not too bad after all could be of help to restore the confidence in this market.